Hello, YouTubers, and today um, I'm going to do another um, airsoft one. Um, even though this is just an airsoft, I'm using it as a training tool. And But the training is real. And as long as you get the training real enough, then you can actually do it with the real thing. Um, today, doing a little test, another little test. Um, and it's, this is in case you're injured. Um, in case you're injured and you have to reload and stuff like that. So, um, let me tell you the concept of this. Alright, let me get it down near my legs. If I can get it near my legs without the camera falling. Okay, the concept is very simple. I'm injured. The concept is very simple. I'm injured. And what happened if I'm injured and need to reload a gun? Alright. So, this is what I would have to do. Say this arm right here is injured. This is what I have to do. Hold it. My leg. Hold it with my leg. I have to. Well, I can't use my left hand because I'm injured. It's supposed to be injured. All right. And then re do another load and shoulder. See how that goes. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the left hand. Say it's my right hand injured. Okay. Back to the right hand. Injured, reload. I'm going to have to be a lot faster than this. I'm already dead. Hope I get a lot faster during the summer months. You know, when I do this again in the summer months, and it's because if you're injured and can't you one or the other, you're gonna to have to use the opposite arm. You're just gonna to have to use the opposite arm and shoot at the same time. Even though the cocking arm or the cocking is on the right hand, which I shoot with the left hand, but I'm actually acting Denver dexterous. Blech. I'm a dexterous. So I can actually cock the gun with right or if I have to cock it with my left so 
okay but if I'm injured I can only do it with one hand so between the legs I'm going to turn up this way yeah and then you have to be near a wall when you do that you know back against the wall and do it I don't think you can get up from it but if you can get up from it because um, when a bullet hits your shoulder it could break it I don't know that about real guns because real guns are more powerful than an airsoft but airsofts are a good training tool and a blue gun it's just people have to use what they got they can't just you know I could do this with a 22 version but um, I don't have one so this is the next best thing oh, that's all for today and peace and share all knowledge I'm going to try to share more knowledge to a lot of people. Even though a lot of people think my knowledge is like... But, hey, I'm doing real ninjutsu. I'm doing real arms training with an airsoft. QBC training. Because... I have to be more than what I am. And that's it for today. I'll try to get more faster with the doing that and everything. So, see you later, YouTube.